new chapter tonight in the local debate over illegal immigration. A woman who spent several years at the forefront of that debate uh, is now officially legal. Well, you may remember Juana Viegas' story brought national attention to Davidson County's 287G program. That's where the now former illegal immigrant claims she was handcuffed before and after giving birth. Fox 17 Sky Arnold shows us why her arrest may have changed immigration rules forever. It's my pleasure. Juana Villegas on. isn't a citizen yet. Her. Welcome to the Thank United you. States. Thank you so much. Absolutely. But this U visa finally gives her the right to be here legally. She's very happy. And, it's a big change uh, from the traffic stop in 2008, where Villegas was arrested for having no ID and processed through 287G as an illegal immigrant. I don't think I know of another woman that has suffered so much as an immigrant. The suffering attorney Elliot Osmond is talking about came while in custody when Viegas was handcuffed before and after giving birth. What do we want? Justice! Justice. What do we want it now? now? The story got national attention and it ended with Metro settling a half million dollar claim with Viegas and a federal judge ruling the treatment was severe enough to grant that U visa. But some say the impact goes beyond Viegas and her now six year old son. I don't think there's any doubt that uh, uh, the legal efforts that were spent to fight 287G is the reason why it's not here. Uh, and I credit Juana's case for that. In 2012, Sheriff Darren Hall decided to end 287G, claiming the staff working the program could be more effectively used elsewhere now that the illegal immigrant arrests have dropped from 10 to 2 percent. The program has been replaced by a new one called Secure Communities that's provided at no cost by the federal government. Opponents of 287G say the new program is better because it doesn't mandate deportation for minor offenses. And they give a lot of credit for the change to this mother who no longer wears the label of an illegal immigrant. Thanks to God, she, now she's not afraid to be um, driving around. Now, we should mention Viegas was one of about 10,000 people who were flagged as an illegal immigrant through that, that 287G uh, search. That, of course, happened right where we're standing downtown at Booking. We should mention Viegas is now an assistant manager at a local McDonald's. Both she and her husband received U visas with this, and in a few years, they'll be eligible to begin applying for permanent resident status. A big change, certainly, from where she was 60 years ago here. Live downtown, Sky Arnold. I'm 17 News.